Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of KGF Fishing. In today's video, we are going to be going after some walleye and burbot. It is super early in the morning, it is like 6.45, let me just show you guys outside. Yeah, she's dark. She is dark. I don't want to talk for too long. Like I said, we're going for burbot and walleye. My buddy Brock will be joining me in this video, so make sure you guys stay tuned and wish us luck. Oh, going for that, going for that. Yeah. He's turning around, he's turning around, going back up. Oh, he's coming back, he's coming back. That's gotta be some weird flipping white fish or something. Look at that thing move. I don't know what to go for. I don't know what one to go for. I don't think either one we're gonna bite them. Look how retarded that thing looks in the bottom right. Flag, 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 flag. <laughs> flag, flag. <laughs> Alrighty. Got a flag, y'all. Why? Ooh, lover stuff is stuck, lover stuff is stuck. We're good boys. He is small. So we got like two fish on the screen in there. What is gonna happen? Walleye. Nice walleye. You wanna go. keep that and eat them? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, man. Jig there, guys. On that bottom dead eye jig, just with the minnow. Nice, first flag of the day. Probably about 18 inches, and we are gonna cook this guy up, so. Let's hop back in the shack. I don't think I'll show any of the flying part of it just because we want to eat them. But we're going to try to get a few more of these fish today. That's long. That's big. Got him. That's big? Yeah, he's just swimming at me right now. That was long, bro. That was so long. Definitely a burb. It might be a, could be a pike. Could be a pike. No, he's not fighting like a pike yet. I think he's a burb. That was long. That was really long. <laughs> yeah, definitely a verb. What do you got on, Jake? Yep. Yeah, he's 100% a verb. Uh... No? Yeah. There we go. How did that guy look that long? I don't know. Maybe they're just showing up longer. That, that popped out so, so easy. Guys, look at this. C catching fish, cooking fish. Can't get any better than that. That is sweet. Not very big, not a huge burbot. We're hoping to get a little bit bigger, but still a really, really nice fish. And my first burbot of the day. So we're gonna get him on the release. Ready to go, dude? Kicked my jig in the hole. <laughs> Trying to put you back, buddy. And he waves goodbye, cool. And I caught that just on a pink and white Deadeye Cabela's jig, just with a minnow. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna try to do it again and hopefully get another burbot or maybe a big ol' mama walleye. Okay guys, so it's a little bit burnt, but uh, that's okay, we were catching fish, so that's perfectly fine. A little bit burnt, but we're gonna go in for the taste test. Fire. Fire. Mmm. Delicious. Not as fresh as they come, boys. Alrighty guys, probably just caught this 15 inch walleye, caught it on a big shiver minnow. Just probably had two or three big walleyes moving, we thought. And we're hoping to catch them, but this little guy came up and smoked it, so we'll get the release on him. Nothing wrong with that. And there he goes. There he goes. Let's get back down there and get another one, eh? Heck yeah. Get the big one. Small down there? Yep. He's looking. Oh, oh he's gonna smoke. Oh yeah, my. A small... He's a dinker. Still. What do you got on? Ripping wrap. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> He's gonna be so small, y'all. <laughs> dinker! Dinker walleye, y'all. Dinker, dinker, dinker. But that's okay. We'll take him. Caught him on that little UV pink and white rip and wrap. And the outcome is a 
small little walleye. We'll get a nice release on him. Gone. Cool. Well, that only took like two hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> double yeah, double up pretty much. Brock got one like two seconds before I caught that, so cool. Let's maybe try to get another one, I guess. Cool. Go this side, yeah. Guys, this is going to be horrible audio. Take in line. Brock, you got him. Got him. What's he feeling like? Uh, it feels like an average size bourbon. Hopefully it's like a 10 pound walleye. <laughs> My bobber stone. It's blowing out here, y'all. Kind of came out of nowhere. It wasn't blowing earlier. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was like six kilometer wind gusts this morning and now it's like 30, 35. Still not at the hole, hey? Oh yeah, it's a nice size burb. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice light colored burb. Holy. What did you catch him on? Got him on a quick strike rig with a piece of walleye that we cooked earlier, the rib cage. Then get this guy's mouth open. We'll get him unhooked and show you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, just got this beautiful burbot. Probably three pounds. We'll let him go here. There Goodbye. He goes. Cool. Beautiful was, fish. What was that like? How many fish have we caught today? Uh, I think I'm at three burbot and, old, and two walleye. Nice. Ooh. Flag. Flag, flag, flag. Actually? Yeah. Grab the camera. I got a flag. We're gonna see if he's on. Yeah, good. There he is, guys. Feeling very small, and it's super windy out. The audio is probably gonna be so bad. <laughs> okay, quick, quick release. No big deal with that. Little walleye, little sauger, as you guys can see. Took that middle hook, so we're gonna go get some new bait and get her back down there. You know what I mean? Here we go, here we go. Oh, he's big? Got him. You big? No. What? Feeling small. That's not, bad. That's not horrible, but whatever. I'll take him. Okay, guys, there is that fish. We missed him about five or six times. Beautiful. Beautiful walleye, I'll try to hold him without him flipping. He's all flared up right now, and he's probably, what would you say, Brock? Probably 18, 18 and a half? Yeah, 18. Yeah, nice looking, true walleye. We're gonna get a release on him. Okay, come on, buddy, come on. Okay, come on, come on. Try to do a nice release on you. Okay, you don't get a nice release. I was gonna do a nice cinematic release, but buddy there didn't wanna help me out. Okay, let's try to get doubles here, boys. He's small, mine's small. Okay, well, come on. Come on, boys. Brock's got one on right now, guys. Yours is way bigger than mine. And I'm working one. A little micro walleye. Kalen's rattle jig. Got her done. <laughs> Gone, and mine. Mine didn't want to bite. So, I guess I don't have the right jig, right? I need a Kalen's rattle jig. Yep. <laughs> I guess the dead eye didn't get it on. Alrighty guys, just a quick little update. We have caught like eight or nine fish, I'm not exactly sure. Burbot and walleye. And I don't really know, not too much to say. It's like five o'clock right now, we'll fish for another hour. My camera's about to die, so that's why I'm doing just a little update before it dies completely. Hopefully we can get like a another walleye, another burb. We're hoping for a good burbot bite once the sun goes down, but if not, we'll see you guys in the outro, but stay tuned and wish us luck. Big? He hammered it. I don't know, he was big on the Might be a bourbon. Scope. Yeah, yeah. It's still big though. Uh, yeah. yeah you... 
Oh my. I think that camera is pretty much dead. Yes. Holy guys, I'm hooked up. With a Megalodon. Yeah, I think it's a big burb. 15 pound walleye. 15, no. Yeah, I'm not fully reeled up all the way. Yeah, I would reel up, he's headed. Oh my gosh. Is it big? Look at him on the live scope. It is so sick. 100% a burb. Yeah. That's a big burb though. I think he's a decent burb. Maybe nine pounds? Dude, I just dropped down to him. Right, I didn't even hit bottom any. I know, I didn't even see him. He came in, he shot up so fast too. Yeah. What do you got on? Ripping out? I have a blade bait. Maybe that's what we've been missing. Six feet from the hole. There's your. There's, there's my your. fluorocarbon. Oh. So I want to horse them around the hole, guys. A lot of fish is lost right around the hole. I just want to look at him, too. I know he's a burb. Yeah, you can see why he's dead. Come on. Could be big. Yeah, he could be really big. I think he is big. He has quite a bit of weight. Oh, I'm not, yeah. Yeah. He's coming, he's oh, coming, he's, he's coming. He's a pretty decent one. Don't get hooked there, buddy. Yeah. He's not bad. Come on, buddy, turn this way. If he flips, I might get a hook in you, buddy. I got him. You got him? Yeah, you can let the engine off. Okay. That's a decent one. Oh, yeah. look at the belly on him. Holy. Got him on that silver blade bait. Nice. That's sick. We'll get him unhooked and then maybe grab a quick picture. Pliers are. Sweet. Alrighty, guys. Nice big burbot. He is 7.16 pounds. He'd probably be about 31 inch, 32 inch, about there. Uh, really nice fish, put up a great fight, and now we're going to get a good release on him. Oh yeah, and he's already ready to go. And there he goes, swims down, slimy little buggers. Hopefully to see more of those tonight. Hopefully none of these buggers will show up. Alrighty guys, I just got home, it is like 8.54 at night. We did not catch any more burbot after whatever last clip you guys saw. It was a long day. We got out there at 7:20 and then stayed out till 8:30. So that was a that was a long day, guys. Uh, we did okay. I think we ended up catching like 10 or 12, 13, some somewhere around there. Didn't get all of them on camera. No giants. An okay size burbot, a seven pound burbot, which which wasn't bad. Um, but other than that, there's really nothing left to say. Sorry if it was a little bit uh, all over the place in this video. We just went out fishing and I thought I'd pick up the camera, throw in the chesty, and uh, film a little bit for you guys. It has been like super busy this last week and a half, two weeks. I had a lacrosse tournament. I was practicing for that lacrosse tournament. I was doing lots of school, uh, doing some work related stuff where I'm working this summer, hanging out with the girlfriend hanging out with my family, so I just didn't have a lot of time uh, to film, or fish even. I didn't fish for two, for like a week and a half. So, sorry for the lack of uploads. I will try to get back on the grind, but yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Just make sure you guys stay tuned, and if you guys enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed any other video of mine, please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.